Last time on Vampire. More blood. Oh, sewer beast. Huh? Oh, oh, oh! This time on Vampire. Hello everybody, my name is Mathis, and welcome back to some more Vampire. If that's how you say it. People said I was saying, saying it wrong by saying Vampire. We just got out of the sewers dealing with a, what looked like a werewolf of some type, and we need to go to Whitechapel now. Uh, so that'll be fun. Hopefully it goes well for us. I don't know exactly what to expect. That's a skull. Uh, it's kind of just in the middle of nowhere, skull. Hey, skull. How you doing, buddy? My name is... Fuck you in the face. <laughs> Eat it, nerd. Alright, let's go. Hell yeah. Okay, what? You dropped something. Perfect. Ooh, watery rich blood sample. I wonder if I should swing up to the hospital first and level up. Oh, there's a lot of baddies. There's just, there's, oh my god, there's, they're like level 12 and 13. Alright, you guys have a good one. Uh, I have no interest in fucking with you at all. That is, um, nasty. You know, you guys missed a skull down here, though. I mean, you're welcome for me helping you out and taking care of it. Just saying. Uh, what, what, maybe you should pay me a little bit for doing your job. But hey, you know, who am I? So I can swing over that way. Is there, there's gotta be a map, right? So here's the map. The docks, we have a hideout over there. Honestly, all we need to do is, oh, actually, let's bang a left then. Go back to the hospital and kind of find our way over to Whitechapel. Ooh, can I go in here? No? I wonder if I'll be able to pop into some of these buildings, because they all look like there's there's stuff inside and I, I'd be able to check it out, but maybe not. Public notice, that's like a condemnation maybe. How's it going? You're eight. Stop right now. You wanna fuck with me? You wanna go? Stay away. Eat it. Okay, you've got fire, which is fair. You're dead. And by a killer you mean a vampire. Nom, 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 Hell yes! Bad news bears. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we get a little bit. We get like 10 experience per kill. Like, let's be honest, it's not that much. But it's something. It's locked, Ooh, all right. Locked. Interesting. Alright, that's a hideout, though. Not one that I can get to quite yet. Well, the hospital's right around the corner, so we should be fine. And uh, we actually did a pretty damn good job just kind of taking those guys out. Healthy. Now, I I'm, I'm kind of want to spend the night and see if curing Clay Cox will have a... Uh, there he is. Uh, an, a sanitation effect on the hospital itself. One in which we're killing Clay Cox because he's kind of a dick. A little street justice of my own. Will get me a dope amount of experience because he's going to be healed. And uh, it won't affect this area as much. I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to play like a, a good but like a neutral good vampire. One that he leaves the guys who deserve to be alive alive and the dicks die maybe a little bit. Make the world a better place. That kind of thing. Oh, everything kind of restocked. That's actually superb for us. We should make some more stuff. Though I don't necessarily want to make anything unless I know we need it. The only thing I do want to make is is possibly to hook us up with um, like one more of these. Light regeneration serum. Do we have anything we can get rid of? Small bag of junk. Rusty box of pills. So let's make one more of the... Oh, I can't. I need a watery... A watery... Dirty blood sample. But we can make all kinds of other stuff. But I'm not going to right yet, right yet, right yet. I'm gonna sit down. And we're gonna evolve a little bit. So, um, we're not level 10 yet, though we're getting there. What is tactical? Spring, which will just give us you perform a supernatural move to target to your target and cause damage upon landing. And then I can do this, and then I can do ooh, all these other springs, which is just like more damage. 
If your target's already stunned, you embrace them automatically. Interesting. It's a superhero landing, more or less. I think. I kind of would like to see it in action. I wish they had, like, a little preview. The shadowy veil of just going invisible seems dope, but I kind of don't want to go that route, if that makes sense. Three serums, increase the number of bullets you can carry. How about we up our blood capacity for a little bit? We might as well. And then maybe we'll continue with the shadowy mist, even though we're using the claws more often. Strike it with a stunning effect. Cut through your flesh. We pray so deeply that you now gain blood with each hit. It's tough. What do I want to focus on? Blood spear, which is more spears. We've got ultimates coming up soon. Shadowy mist. We don't have enough experience to level it up. So the question is, do I... Hmm. Here, let's grab a little bit of, of uh, life regen. And maybe we'll just up our stamina again. Just something something simple so we can continue fighting a little bit easier. We'll go up to stamina 2 here. Level 9. Actually, we don't have enough points there. So we'll leave it. And we'll see what happens. I'm actually very curious to see if, if uh, this town is going to get in, in a... Oh, it went down. Oh. We healed him, but we now need to heal Oswald Thatcher, who has a headache. We need to cure him with a treatment for a headache. And there's still somebody we don't know here. So let's actually figure out who this is and maybe heal Oswald Thatcher a bit. So let's see if we have a cure for headaches. Actually, it does not seem like we actually do have a cure for headache. Hmm. Okay. Not a big deal. Let's see if we can figure out who this last guy is. Is that something I can grab? No. And maybe what's-his-face will have a cure for the headaches. Yeah, uh, Rakesh. And we'll see if that can work for us. There's somebody we haven't met yet. It might be Thomas Elwood, technically. Here, let me get steal from you first. Good evening, sir. Can I help you? Unless you're here to fix my face. No. I don't think you can help me. I'm Dr. Reed. I've recently taken the position of head surgeon here. War injuries, am I right? You guessed right, Doctor. German shell took my pretty little mug right off. But they still call me Thomas Elwood. Okay, isn't that your name, though? Is that, you know? How is your stay with us, Mr. Elwood? Oh, it's bliss. I just escaped death in the trenches to be surrounded again by the moans of the dying. It's just Can I very ask pleasant. You precisely why you're a patient here? It's the pain, sir. The drugs don't work. I wonder if I can use my vampire abilities and just be like, hey, let me give you a happy little touch. Get my drift. Who is treating you? Is someone in particular looking after your case? Nobody since the old and tired doctor spoke to me. Started to think I was forgotten about. Wouldn't blame you. You don't seem worried by that. My face hurts so much more when I smile or cry. I've learned it's easier not to speak. But be assured, I'm smiling inside. Okay. Somebody's walking outside my window. Can I do anything for your pain? Nurses gave me a bunch of pills. No effect. Told you. It's like the flames are under my skin, burning away. Can I... Told you. Do you see, need maybe he needs something? I'm fine. Just do something for this... He wants something for the pain. I could memorize him and... And goodbye for no, now. no, I didn't mean to do that. I could mesmerize him and murder his mean? ass. Why do you feel responsible for the injury, Thomas? What really happened? I wasn't disfigured by any German shells. It happened during my leave. Liar! It was an accident. 
Why lie about it? Come on. It's one thing to come back disfigured by the Germans. And it's another to get injured in an accident that could have happened to anybody. Um. Surgery could help. Beauty is not everything. Beauty is not everything, Mr. Elwood. Says Mr. Pretty Face. I mean, have you seen me? I literally look like I'm dying. Oh, a hint failed. I didn't know I could fail getting a hint. Tell me what really happened then. I went with a whore in Rouen. Dead drunk I was. The hotel was a shithole. There was a fire that night. Did you start the fire? Were you trying to avoid going back to the front? That's not uncommon, you know. No. It's just that I was asleep when the flames reached the room. Oh, okay. The girl was long gone. Bitch never woke me up. Left me to burn. Why would she do that? That's really weird. Where were you stationed, sir? Did you serve for long? I really don't want to talk about all this shit. Oh, okay. No offense. I was pushing too much. I served in France myself. I just wanted to know what happened to you. You were an officer, weren't you? Then I doubt we fought the same war, sir. No offense. How close are you to Miss Hawcroft? Are you aware that she thinks she is a vampire? To wait for her next nibble is the best reason to stay here. Oh, Every okay. Every time she approaches my bed, she treats me like something tasty. A normal person. Aren't you afraid? She may hurt you if the game goes too far. She's quite harmless. I feel like as a doctor, I shouldn't allow that in the hospital anyway. Her head's broken inside is all. My arm busted on the outside. But she's still beautiful. Living proof that there's hope for me. So do you let her bite you? You know that's not sanitary. And why not? She's only supping a few drops of me blood. And the pain, it's real for once. She could decide to bite less willing patients. Then it's another good reason for me to stay here, Doctor. You do realize she's mentally disturbed. It's called the Kotar Syndrome. She truly believes she's a vampire. In her madness, she never refers to my scars. And frankly, if I could, I'd join her world. It seems much more fun than the real one. Sad man. All right. Well, we've got everything we need to know here. How is your... Oh, can I... It's the... All right. Yeah, we've got everything we can get to from him from now, I think. Yeah, we got one more hint, but we, un Goodbye, we could not unlock it because we fucked it. So if I look at our little... That's not who that is, interestingly. Okay, so they're linked. Who is Clay Cox linked to? It seems to be nobody. He has no relationship, so removing him might not be a bad thing. Though he's not worth a ton right now. I like that he can be removed, and even though he's, like, pretty important. Uh, we still need to find one more person. Somebody we have not met yet. Sorry, Thelma. I, I didn't realize I was talking about you in front of your face. Even though you are literally murdering- not murdering, you're, you're causing unsanitary harm to somebody. It's kind of gross. All right, who am I potentially missing here? I imagine they're on the first floor. We still need to go see Rakesh anyway. Are these restocking? I feel like I've looted all of this stuff, but the game is acting as though I ha have not. I wonder if this is where I can observe the guy in his room. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry! Is this blood over here? Oh, is this the... 
garden where I killed the bad guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's go around the other way. Hmm. Still need to reach Whitechapel. There's our cash. Let's see if he's got another uh, another recipe for us. Good evening. Do I have anything new I could talk to you about? You're healthy. Please show. Of course. Maybe he has a treatment for a headache. Samples and ingredients. Uh, ammunition and treatments. Treatment for fatigue. Junk. So he's only got this stuff right now, and I already took pretty much everything he needs, and I'm I'm broke as shit as it is, but But Damn it. It's locked. Yeah, it's locked. Dr. Waverly Ackeroid. Sincerely, who is the missing dope? Have I not talked to Henry Fiddick yet? Even Good though I think he exists? May I, I help you? I don't know if a third opinion is needed. Your colleagues are already arguing about my condition. I see. Would you mind telling me more about your situation? I'm Harvey Fiddick. All I want is to get me bloody arm fixed properly. Alright, well, hold up. Tell me about the doctors who are arguing about your case. Strickland and Ackroyd. They both want the best for me, but there's a lot of pride there. Doctors are no different from carpenters, it seems. What do you mean? I often had professional arguments with rivals on a building site. Difference is, I disagreed about wooden nails, not flesh and bones. I'll give you my flesh and bone. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Fiddick. I'm just a regular guy waiting to get his arm fixed, so I can return to work and to my family. I was more curious about what you were doing before being hospitalized. I'm a carpenter. And a good one, too. But that means I need both arms to feed my family, Dr. Reed. Okay. Are you satisfied with your treatment here? Well, it's clear that I've chosen a bad time to be injured. Forgive my bluntness, but you seem overwhelmed by cases of the flu. Yeah, it's I only murdering lie people. To you about it. I'm afraid we are. No are you shit! Sure you don't want to operate yourself, Fucking Dr. Dr. Reed? Obvious, Dr. Accurate. I have the feeling you're very capable. And your colleagues seem to think so, too. In other circumstances, you would be right. But for now, I don't think I can take on the responsibility. My apologies. Okay, well... Is there anything else that... I'm all right. Okay. Life in London, we've already done. Personal questions. You seem worried about the safety of your family. And it's obviously the reason why your wound troubles you so much. I cannot give up on my children now. They both need me living. What about their mother, if I may ask? She died in 1915 during one of the first Zeppelin raids. We never found her body. He's just a dad doing what he needs to do. Tell me about your injury, Harvey. Why do you feel so guilty about it? My wife died because of me. And now I may lose everything because I've been careless enough to hurt myself. What an arsehole. How could your job be responsible for your wife's death? I was working a double. She went out to bring me a hot meal and got caught in a German bomb raid. Oh, that's sad. You can't hold yourself responsible for your injury, Mr. Fiddick. Unless you tried to hurt yourself. Of course I didn't hurt myself. But I can't work until my arm is fixed. My children need to eat, Doctor. Fair enough, man. I understand. Tell me more about the death of your wife, Harvey. 1915. I was in the army. Building workshops for the Royal Flying Corps. Helen was happy I wasn't sent to the front. What happened? The Germans sent Zeppelins to bomb the construction site, but they missed their target. My wife was bringing my dinner when the bombs fell. I'm sorry for your loss. So many died during the bombings. I served in France and witnessed the carnage there. I would like to say that she didn't suffer. Truth is, I have no idea. I just know that I'm all that me kids have. 
Poor little bleeders. How are your children after losing their mother? They were smaller then. The only good thing about this is my Ellen didn't bring them with her that night. Well, we've learned quite a lot about this guy. If we take a look, we've got everything we know. He's worth a thousand experience, but he's got a social circle that he affects, the two doctors. Um, I wish I could do something for the poor bastard. Still don't know who this guy is, though. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fitting. All right. Unknown. He's over there. He's over to the right. Who? Who is it? Who are we missing? God damn it. I just want to go outside. Please. Please, please, let me go outside. Excuse me while I rob you in front of you. Thank you. Have a good one, crazy lady. Thank you for the loot. Hello, Mr. Unknown Man. I just wanna know you if I can. Unknown Man. Unknown Man. Wait, where? I definitely saw them. Wait, where? He was just highlighted. Is he in the building? What? Is he right? I don't know where he is. Is he the one laying in the bed maybe? He might be the one that's in the bed and I just cannot talk to him yet. He is, and he's laying in the bed very weirdly. All right, cool. Well, we now know that. Neat. Still thinking about murdering Clay Cox. Kind of seems like a dickhole. We'll think about it. For now, uh, we're going to swing over to Whitechapel. As we were uh, uh, want to, to do. Can we just pop over to the other side? Oh, who's that? Hello, man in a suit. Wait, who are you? Is this supposed to be no, wait, dude. Excuse me. It's locked. Excuse me, sir. Can I please get to know you? Oswald Thatcher, let's talk. Hello again, Mr. Thatcher. Do you feel any better? Yes. This neighborhood may stink. I think he just left. Hang on. Goodbye. I need to talk to him. I heard him get up. Hey, talk to me, unknown man. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed of the Pembroke Hospital. May I be of assistance? Dr. Reed. So it's you who saved my friend Oswald. Sure. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. And you are? Newton Blight. Oswald and I recently returned from the war. I hear people yelling as well. I'm hoping I can the see what the hell that's about. As a former officer, I'll be honored to welcome a fellow veteran. I'm not giving up on bringing Oswald back to the hospital. I just need to convince him that he needs some help. Perhaps he needs to reach that decision by himself. Could you speak to him? He doesn't usually listen to doctors, but perhaps because you've been through it, you can talk him round. What can you tell me about the war, Mr. Blight? If you want to speak about it, of course. War was... Well, you know, sir. The stench of death everywhere. Your mates lying bleeding in the mud. Just praying to make it through and get home. Bloody nightmare. Did you know Oswald Thatcher before the war? No. We met in the battlefield. I think we were in the same boat to France. We were. I fought in France too. We've stuck together ever since. I fought in France too. I served as a field surgeon. It was not uncommon to repel an assault, especially at night. Yeah. The first time I was wounded, I had to protect the infirmary from hostiles. Twice. Well, sorry. Why do you stay here now that Mr. Thatcher's back? It's complicated. Since the war, Oswald's been really nervous with the idea of entering any hospital. And me. I've got my own issues. Can you speak about them? Rats, sir. Even seeing one, they turn me. Just want to run. He's afraid of rats. The man has seen it's war and murdered. Me for going after <laughs> but he's afraid of rats. What? 
What caused your phobia of rats, Newton? It happened last year following an artillery attack. I was trapped for two days in a hole under two dead soldiers. And there were rats. Go on. They started eating me as soon as I dozed. Gnawing at my ears, my fingers, lips. Couldn't move. You look pretty good for being nibbled on by rats, apparently. Call for help. I see. No, you don't. You have no idea what it is to wake up buried under bodies. I think I might, actually. Vermin eating your flesh. I might, I might know. Oswald, he found me and saved me. Fair, though. I understand your dedication to the man. I will try and talk Goodbye. to the man. I think that was him over here. So, hey, Oswald, we should chat. Go to the hospital, fam. Good evening. Evening, Dr. Reed. Hey, uh... Mr. Thatcher, do you have a job? Oh, is this a guy I saved down Since in the I sewer? I from the war. I spent most of my time and energy just trying to forget. I understand what you mean. I was a soldier, too. No. Nobody can truly understand what I've gone through. Why were you locked in that sewer? He also what saw me be a vampire and kick ass. An argument with a friend. Got chased by these fucking wankers and had to barricade myself in despite my claustrophobia. Then a werewolf came. Why did you run? What was the reason for your argument? Newton wanted me to go to a hospital. But I can't stand being closed in. It makes me feel like I'm suffocating. Tell me about your claustrophobia. Has anyone given you an official diagnosis? God, that's what the bloody doctor said. But I don't want to go to a hospital to get checked again. I'll deal with it my own way. Okay. I mean, I get it, kind of. Oswald, why did you not go to the Pembroke Hospital to seek medical help? I don't trust doctors. All they care about was their careers and processes. I won't be locked in any room. I like when you do the vampire your fear thing to talk to them and demand information. They talk very robotic to you because they're being compelled. I like it. I've seen enough butchers in white coats to last a lifetime. Hospitals reek of chemicals and death. What I need is fresh air. I mean, you're in the middle of London. It's not exactly the most fresh. Do you want to talk about why you have this fear of being enclosed, Mr. Thatcher? No, I really don't. An irrational fear like yours is usually rooted in a specific event. Perhaps it would help to talk about it. Well, Doctor, take a guess then, if you're so interested in my case. How about I just fucking make you? Soldier's guilt or it was your childhood? I mean, you want to say soldier's guilt, right? He could have gotten buried as well. I mean, look at what we know about him. Not much. <laughs> like, here's what we know. First deal with his claustrophobia himself and does not want to be hospital. My guess is if this is how he's always dealt with it, it's probably from childhood, Maya. Perhaps you were trapped or locked in somewhere as a child. The horror of war could have brought this memory back to the surface. Are you joking? I grew up on a farm. I had a bloody fantastic How am I supposed child. to know that, though? That's lame, man. I don't like that. How am I supposed to know? Do you want to talk? No. An irrational fear like you. Well, Doctor, take again. Perhaps you would. Are you? Damn it, man. That's so dumb. Goodbye, Mr. Thatcher. I wish I could just force him to tell me. Well, maybe, uh... This guy will, will... Oh, no, he's, like, long gone. Oh, well. Damn it. Well, we can fuck around a little bit, I think, later on. For right now, I just need to find my way up and across, so. Yeah, well, I would still like to cure your headache if I could. Oh, Jesus. 12, 13. Alright, what if we... Hit him so I can drink him. Goodbye. Whew. 
All right, not bad. You know, they're like four levels ahead of me, but with the right maneuvering and the right abilities and knowing their weaknesses, it's actually not that bad. You can definitely make make uh, make it work. We're fully healed again, which is nice. And Finsbury Gate, it's stable. Maya, stop biting on my goddamn wire. Oh, let's read what this says. Citizens of London, a curfew, official health warning. Further notice, blah, 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 9 p.m. Ooh, I can hear a skull. Huh? Where? Why is there a rogue skull down here? Hey, man. Nothing personal, all right? I just want some blood. Thank you. Again, nothing personal. Thought I killed you already, but guess not. All right. Ooh, more screaming. Some dogs barking. Uh, these guys are actually pretty weak. So are the <clears throat> so are they. Come on. Easy, man. A little bit of a ranged attack to start, and then you just find out wrap it up with some sword swinging, and you're in good shape. Especially for these guys who are very, very weak to blood abilities. For vampiric abilities, specifically. Maya, why are you behind my, my, my monitor right now, girl? And since we're not really taking out any citizens yet... The murder of these guys is going to be good for us for experience. Hey, rude. Very rude. Maya, Maya, get get out! Chew one of my wires. Damn girl. No, oh, I hear another skull somewhere. Here, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You have medium resistance to my sword, but you have no resistance to death. Hmm? Can I get in here? I can. Hell yeah. Give it to me, baby. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What do we got? The Vampire Clump? What? Do you think vampires hide in the dodgy areas in the hovels of London? No! They hide in the highest clubs and fantasy houses in West End. I know for a fact that some of them rule the Empire in secret. They have a club. They have public figures. They have balls and fancy parties. They I have balls, you know what I'm saying. Uh, they aim to control the country and our destinies. We must reveal them for what they are. Greedy enemies of mankind born to this world to bring us all into the eternal darkness of hell. You know them, but you don't dare to pronounce their names. I will soon. And everybody in London will know the name of the Vampire Club. Clarence Crossley. Alright, Clarence. I'll be excited to meet you one day. We can make some stuff, but nothing else that I need to make, except for a headache heal, which I don't have yet. And then... I cannot enter. I can't leave? Alright, we're already refilled up here. And uh, we're pretty much good, I think, as far as needing to rest. Is it? I think I saw somebody. What is th Oh, it's just a red light. Okay, I was like, why is there blood? All right, well, we're going to wrap up this episode here. Like I said, I do apologize for only doing like half-hour videos. When I'm back, they will be an hour long. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, let me know in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see all of you next time. Bye-bye.